Prove the identity AB square plus BC square equal to AC square in a right angle triangle ABC right angle at B. Let us draw right angle triangle ABC. For that purpose we have an angle B that measures 90 degree and we join AC. Now what do you want to prove is AC square. AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. If you remember it correctly, then this is nothing but Pythagoras theorem. And we want to prove Pythagoras theorem using vectors. Let's skip the direction. Let's start from the point A and move to B and then B to C. That is same as moving from A to C. Once again, if we start from point A and move from A to B, we have a vector AB. Start from point A, move from A to B, then we have a vector AB. That plus, again we are moving, starting from A, moving to B, and then we are moving from B to C. That is same as starting from A and moving to C. AB plus BC equal to AC. Why is it so? We start from A moving, moving up to B and then to C. That is same as moving from A to C. This is nothing but triangle law. Let's write triangle law once again. We start from A move up to B, then move from B to C, that is same as moving from A to C. Let's multiply both. We write this, equa uh, this equation 1 and this is equation 2. Let's take dot product of equation 1 and 2. Then we will have AB plus BC dot AB plus BC equal to, we take dot product on the left hand side, so let's take dot product on the right hand side we as well, AC dot AC. Now we know the property of dot product that A dot A, A dot A by definition is magnitude of A, magnitude of A into cos of 0 degree because angle between A and A is 0 degree. So this is A square. So right hand side can simply be written as AC square. Since A dot A equal to A square, AC dot AC equal to AC square. What about left hand side? Let's apply distributive law. We, we take dot product of AB with AB plus BC. We are applying distributive law. And then BC with AB plus BC. Again, we apply distributive law. Then we have AB dot AB is AB square. AB dot BC, let's write it as it is. BC dot AB, we write it as it is. BC dot BC is BC square. Right hand side, we can copy as it is, AC square. Now, let's look at the expression that we need to derive. We have AB square, that is perpendicular square, BC square, base square, AC square is hypotenuse square. And 
ab.bc. What can you say about ab.bc? ab.bc equal to magnitude of ab, that is ab, magnitude of bc, that is bc, times cos theta, where theta is the angle between ab and bc. If we look at the figure, then we have AB and BC are perpendicular to each other. So, angle between AB and BC is 90 degree. So, we have cos 90 degree and cos 90 degree is 0. So, AB dot BC is 0. So, this quantity is 0. What about BC dot AB? Again, angle is 90 degree. So, this is 0. So, we have left hand side equal to just AB square plus BC square and right hand side equal to AC square. So we have proved Pythagoras theorem using vectors.